Let us explore the beauty of Cebu. History has it that Mactan Island, although small, was a thriving community when the Great Magellan was in Cebu. The brave Spanish navigator and soldier, upon learning that some inhabitants from this tiny island across Cebu refused to recognize the King of Spain, burned one of the villages. Lapalapo was one of the native leaders who refused to acknowledge the sovereignty of Spain over the islands. These days, many tourists always include Lapu Lapu Shrine in the checklist. People within the vicinity took advantage of many tourists visiting the place and made this as a source of income. Sinulog, the Basilica Minor del Santo Niño, or the Minor Basilica of the Holy Child, is a minor basilica located in Cebu City, Philippines. It was founded by the Spaniards headed by Father Andres de Ordeneta on April 28, 1565. It was also the same day that the Legazpi Ordeneta expedition arrived in the island of Cebu. Basilica Minor del Santo Niño is the oldest Roman Catholic church established in the Philippines. It was built on the same spot where the image of the Santo Niño de Cebu a statue depicting the child Jesus was found in 1565 by Spanish explorers led by Miguel Lopez de Ligaspe. The image is the same statue given by Ferdinand Magellan to the wife of Raja Humabun as a gift over 40 years after Humabun's baptism to Christianity. He was baptized on April 14, 1521. The image was found by a soldier. It was preserved in a burnt wood box after the Gatsby raised the village of the hostile natives. The Holy See calls the temple as the mother and child of all churches in the Philippines. The biggest feast celebration of Cebu, where famous artists and foreigners visit and celebrate with the Cebuanos, where people have their loudest shout of, Pete Senor! Plaza Independencia Plaza Independencia is one of the most significant sites in the history of Cebu. It is a symbol of independence and freedom from all the conquerors that tried to take over the island of Cebu. Its century-old trees are witnesses to what the plaza or park had been through during the colonial days. The changes of its name emulated its role in the history of Cebu. The park was called Plaza de Armas in the early 1600s and served as a public square used as military training and parade grounds. It later had its expansion to reach nearby properties of the Cathedral of Cebu and was called Plaza Mayor. During the Spanish era, its name was changed to Plaza Maria Cristina in honor of the prevailing queen. Its name was changed again to Plaza Libertad during the American colonial period to acknowledge the liberty from the Spanish rule. When all the colonizers left the country and the land has attained its true freedom, it finally had its name, Plaza Independencia. Plaza Independencia is the most famous plaza in Cebu City, which also resides the Fort San Pedro. A lot of people tend to come here all the time, such as dance groups having their practices, companies celebrating, and for families to relax. Also, this place now serves as a dating place for people with intimate relationships. Fort San Pedro Fuerte de San Pedro is a military defense structure in Cebu, Philippines, built by the Spanish under the command of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, first governor of the Captaincy General of the Philippines. It is located in the area now called Plaza Independencia in the Pierre area of the city. 
The original fort was made of wood and built after the arrival of Ligaspe and his expedition. In the early 17th century, a stone fort was built to repel Muslim raiders. Today's structure dates from 1738 and is the oldest triangular bastion fort in the country. It served as the nucleus of the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines. During the Philippine Revolution, at the end of 19th century, it was attacked and taken by Filipino revolutionaries who used it as a stronghold. The fort is triangular in shape, with two sides facing the sea and the third side fronting the land. The two sides facing the sea were defended with artillery and the front with a strong palisade made of wood. The three bastions are named La Concepcion, Ignacio de Loyola, and San Miguel. The sides are of unequal lengths, and the one fronting the city is where one may find entry into the fort. Fourteen cannons were mounted in their emplacements, most of which are still there today. Work first started in 1565 with Miguel Lopez de Ligaspe breaking ground. A lot of people tend to visit here and reminisce with the tour guides the history of the fort. Museo Sugbo Museo Sugbo is located in the former Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, or CPDRC. It was once called the Cebu, the provincial jail, provincial jail of Cebu. It is now the Cebu Provincial Museum. The museum was designed by Domingo de Escondrelas in 1869. He used to be the only architect in Cebu at that time. It was originally proposed to be the main prison for the Visayan district because of its somewhat considerable size when it was constructed. The construction started in 1871. It was believed that the coral blocks from the demolished Parian church were used to build parts of the goal. Simala Shrine Church is a religious structure and establishment located in Sibunga Town, Southern Cebu. Simala is a place for people who believe in miracles. This place has been known to be miraculous. The Monastery of the Holy Eucharist is a church in Sibunga for the Marian devotees. The church is very popular among believers not only because it is considered the home of the image of the miraculous virgin, but also because the place is truly amazing and spectacular. The monastery is a place where the Mga Monghe ni Maria or the Monks of Mary lives. Pilgrimages or visiting religious places is one of the most important aspects that most Filipino Catholics have. This aspect keeps their faith alive and keeps them going despite all the challenges in life. Many foreigners visit here because of the beauty and how well constructed the church is. But for Filipinos, specifically Cebuanos, they tend to visit here every time when someone in the family is celebrating his or her birthday. Also, Filipinos visit here and pray for miracles to happen in their life, especially for those who have health conditions that ask for good health. 